For today's video, we're going to take a look at how the PowerBox core and the sensors are integrated into my exclusive Vodabao 50% Challenger with the new Voloc 280 four-cylinder. Just a quick overview of the engine and the components we're going to talk about. So there there is the engine itself in all its glory. The four cylinder is 280 cc's. Um, you'll see four temperature sensors attached to each one of those there, and I'll get into that in a second. You see an RPM sensor as well from PowerBox that plugs directly into the spark switch. And of course, both ignition uh, uh, modules themselves from Vala. Uh, then we'll get into the spark switch, which is actually located right in here. Of course, PowerBox smoke pump. It's been there for quite a long time. Uh, and then of course, the last component in here is the Royal, which is way down in there below the tray. And you see the two 26D receivers, one there and one there. So let's go into the actual components that we have here. So before we get started into the actual airplane, I wanna show you what, what we have here. So one is the T250 sensors. Now this comes with two temperature sensors itself. And then we have um, the RPM pickup. Now there are two different ones. One is the RPM standalone, which is the PVS RPM. You don't want that one with the spark switch. You need the, the RPM pickup, which is this one here. This plugs directly into the spark switch itself. You may need a dock depending on how many uh, uh, different uh, sensors you have plugged in. But for my engine, like I said, the spark switch itself comes with one sensor. The T250 comes with two sensors, and I ordered one more here for the fourth cylinder. So that's how everything is plugged in. You'll notice on here there is an A through E uh, designation on here. Now to go back to the airplane, you see I've marked the cylinders A, B, oops, C, and D. There it is. And the reason why I did that is that way you know what's plugged into what. And then I'll show you on the screen here in a second how they work. Now, a couple important things. You can see the sensor down here, it's mounted. You see I've got a, uh, I think it's a 632 button head screw. But what's important is you see the barrel here and they give you some, um, some lubrication that uh, helps it transfer the heat to this. But the barrel itself is actually the sensor. So you're gonna need to push that down into the fin like it is here. And you see on the rest of these are the same way. And you want to mount these, from my experience with in motorsports, is as close to behind the um, uh, spark plug as you can. That's going to be about your best uh, sensor reading. So that's those two there. Then I mentioned about the RPM pickup, which is located here. RPM is, pickup is here. This plugs directly into the spark switch. Okay. The T250, which is for the temperature sensors, because it's reading all four, you have to plug it directly into the Royal or your receivers um, to, to get the pickup for it. Now, as I mentioned a little bit ago about the A, B, C, and D and the cylinder heads, what you'll see here is how I've arranged my screen. Kind of see it there. What I've done here then, as you see, on the left side, I gave two panels, left and right. So this is the B and D cylinders. So that's the left, left cylinders. So the B is the front one, the D is the rear one. And on the right side, of course, I have A, which is the front one, and C which is the rear one. This way I can see what both cylinder head temperature sensors are. I also have the RPM in there, of course, um, different things for the receivers themselves. I also put all of the sensors for uh, the batteries in here. And you can see I've got the spark switch in there. I've got one battery plugged in the Royal, so you're only gonna see one at 7.96. I also like to put the, the um, status in here too myself, so I have it set, uh, set up. So right now I can't run it because I don't have a prop for it yet, but um, once I get the prop for this thing, We'll go through and we'll show you how it looks all together. But that's the basic setup and functionality inside the transmitter in these sensors. Thanks for watching.